Hi there, my name is Ross Barefoot and I'm with Horizon Web Marketing and the Horizon Web Marketing Academy. This is one of the videos that we do to show you how to collaborate with others on various properties and tools you may have um, when you're working with a digital marketing agency or perhaps uh, setting up an employee to be able to access some of your digital marketing properties. Now we've looked in other videos at things like adding access to Google Ads, to Google Analytics, Search Console, adding a user to WordPress, things like that. And in this video, we're going to turn our attention to a less used Google property, which is the Google Merchant Center, as you can see here. Typically, businesses will be using the Merchant Center if they are running product ads in uh, in Google Ads. And the product ads are, for example, um, just to kind of show you what product ads are, let's say we're going for red jackets, do a Google search, and then these ads up here are product ads. Those ads are populated from the Google Merchant Center and then they're managed in your Google Ads account. So in order to run product ads, you've got to have a Merchant Center account. And I'm basing this video on the idea that you probably have already got one set up and you're trying to figure out how you add a user to that account. It's not too tough, but Google makes it a little difficult because it seems like every one of Google's properties has a different way of adding a user or a manager, different levels of access and so forth. So let's just step through this one real quick. We'll go ahead and sign into the Merchant Center. And I'm going to use our agency account here. And when it comes up, it's going to look like this. And it's going to give you a dashboard showing you various things, uh, what are called feeds and how you manage your feeds and so forth. And where you go to be able to add someone to collaborate on your account is to the three little dots up at the top right. And then you select users from that menu choice. And this is a real pig in loading. It has to load a couple of times, it seems like, and does a refresh. So there's a blue plus button under users. And then you need to add a user account. I'm going to use a demo account here. Adds demo2 at gmail.com. Now, I'm going to change this a little bit here just to show you how you do have to add an account that Google is familiar with. If I go and I click add user and it's not a G, it's not an account that Google recognizes in their system, they're not going to let you do this. You don't always have to have a Gmail account. You do have to have uh, an email account that's tied to a Gmail account. So in this case, I have one of those that I've set up. We'll go ahead and click add user. Once the add user goes through, it's going to give you just two choices, either an administrative user and a standard user. And an administrative user is able to add other users. So that's, of course, one you want to be cautious with. At this point, you're pretty much done in the process. Um, I've done a video showing how you can add a user to Google Ads, and it requires sending an invitation, and the person has to accept the invitation. You don't have to go through that kind of a process here. Once you add the user, they have access to the account. If you're going to remove the user, then the process is merely reversed using this button down here. Click Remove User. We'll click Yes. Sure, we want to remove. And then we are done. So that's basically the process. Please, in the comments, if you have any questions or if you'd like other videos to show you how to get things done, either in collaborating with an agency or running your own digital marketing program, please make a request in the comments and we will pay attention to it. My name is Ross Barefoot. This is the Horizon Web Marketing Academy. And of course, if this was useful, give us a subscribe and a thumbs up. We'd very much appreciate it.